Aston Martin introduced the DBX in its Dubai launch the other day. And this is a very special car that Aston Martin is bringing to the table. This is the first SUV that Aston Martin is producing. And it's a rather special appearance that this car made at Dubai the other day. Let's talk about the design of the car and the way that it's built. Obviously, Aston Martin has a heritage of creating some class-leading cars, and they've taken the DNA from creating sports cars, and what they've mastered with the DBX is the use of bonded aluminium, a construction method that Aston Martin has refined through the development of its sports cars. And this structure really gives the car a very light and a very incredibly stiff chassis that really helps with the handling performance of the car. And at the weight of 2,245, it really isn't a very heavy SUV per se. And I believe that's what the whole idea of Aston Martin was to design something from scratch that would also give it the ability to be an SUV draped in a sports car or be a sports car that's draped in an SUV-like feature. But the driving dynamics for both on-road and off-road on this car seems to be really promising, given that it uses some stuff like uh, you know adaptive triple constructions, and you can see that there are obviously elements of carbon fiber wrapped exhaust, and you can look at the sweeping wing design that Aston Martin has put at the back over there. And there's something very interesting about this is that there is no reverse wiper on the car because it produces enough downforce for the air to actually clear out the rear window. So you really, really don't need that ugly rear wiper that a lot of SUVs have. Had some clever designing from Aston Martin. And if you look at the entire silhouette of the car, the way that it sits, it looks like a proper, proper Aston Martin from the south, from the front and to the back with obviously all of these raking headlines. Now this is the DRLs, which is hollow, and they actually put air into the front brakes. So it's a nice little touch that Aston Martin has put in over there. Again, looking at the back of the car, it looks rather menacing, it looks very good. And uh, the entire structure is uh, very stiff, so it gives you that feeling of uh, that it's looking very sharp. Uh, nice bold lines all across the body. You can see over here that it's really pushing in. Beautifully designed LED headlight. Talking about what drives this car, this DBX is powered by a twin turbocharged V8. The same engine that's found on the DB11 and the Vantage. Now this engine has been tweaked to produce 550 bhp and 700 newton meters of torque, propelling the Aston Martin from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds. Now it's not the same engine that they've taken it and put it from a Vantage or a DB11, but it's nicely tuned because Aston Martin knows that this car is going to be spending a lot of time between cities and maybe a bit of off-roading and not really as much on the track. So the engine has been tuned to give it that nice presence. In terms of the interiors, Aston Martin has left no stone unturned, including convenient stuff like electronic seat down at the back. And overall, the interior quality is really good. Adjustable armrests as well, gives you a very nice SUV feel. The interior is very well built and it's luxuriously handcrafted and Aston Martin is known to have some great interior stuff going on. And this is also a very well designed interior. Um, the blowers reminded me of a Volvo XC40 for some reason. Um, Ample amount of headroom and backroom as well, uh, knee room and for the front and the rear passengers. Uh, great amount of luxury, great amount of stuff that goes in and you know, amazing sound system that if they're put in. Decent amount of storage under the center console as well, that's your electronic phone charger there. You obviously got all your buttons. It's it's rather weird to see Hill Listen Control on an Aston Martin, but it's there. Uh, in the the interior quality is exceptionally well. You have wood inserts and you have leather everywhere. Everything is leather leather wrapped. Of course, you would expect that from Aston Martin, and they've created a lot of great designs all around it. And they've used a contemporary range of ex exquisite wood and composite and metal deniers, ensuring that the cabin can be tailored to any taste. You can move stuff around. You can change everything else and whatever. That, that you know. Framed by these gorgeous metals is also an abundance of technology. A 10.25 TFT inch screen sits elegantly flush in the center console, while a bigger 12.3 inch TFT screen provides a wealth of information to the driver. Apple CarPlay comes as standard, so does the 360 degree camera system and ambient lighting that offers 64 different colors in two zones. There you have it guys, that's the first look of the Aston Martin DBX. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this car and do you think Aston Martin's really going to make a dent in the SUV space with the DBX? Stay tuned for more.